I am playing Dying Light. The entire reason why I'm making this video is because in the comments I saw that there might actually still be a way to do the 999,999 duplication glitch inside of your stash. Now there's a couple of requirements for this. One, you do need to have your uh, your system, be that an Xbox uh, or a PlayStation 4, hooked up to your router or modem, I guess if you really got hooked up to a modem, but essentially hooked to the internet with an ethernet cord. Okay, that's gonna be the requirement, one of them anyway. Another one is inside of your uh, inside of your options here, you're going to need to be at least something online. I have it set to LAN, and I, and I tested it once already to see how quickly it needs to happen. I don't. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on the first try, but you have to be at least something online. You don't have to even go online though. You can just have it set to LAN, which means that you know you're, you'll be able to hook up your uh, uh, different systems to each other. I guess I've never actually used LAN honestly, but. Uh, then another thing you need to have is, well, something that has a large number next to it. Because I've got stuff that has 999,999 next to them, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these, the super zombie grenades. Why not? You know, because why wouldn't you want super zombie grenades, a bunch of them? So I'm going to try and do this. Now, I haven't actually been able to get the timing right, and I've got this weird position that I need to be in in order for this to uh, go through here. So I'm going to try and do this right now. Okay, got that, I think. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. See, you have to get the timing just right. You have to get it perfectly. Otherwise, um, it doesn't work. So, hmm. so it says only single player, goes back to land, and then you can try again. I plugged back in the, the Ethernet cord, by the way. So, I'm going to keep trying this until I get it right. And then I'm gonna uh, hopefully have it recorded as well. Oh, I almost had it again. It takes some time, it takes some doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on trying. Let me see here. Oh man. Okay, looks like I did it a little bit too quickly that time. There we go, okay. So I just did it there. It took me a lot of tries of trying to find just that sweet spot right in the middle of when I pull that cord out and I hit the, well, in my case, the X button because I'm on PlayStation. Now, because this is working without having to go into options and all that stuff and having to you know boot yourself offline, you're booting yourself offline manually, um, then it won't matter. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and plug back in my ethernet cord, I think, if I didn't already. There we go, now I just plugged it back in. Don't know if you could hear that or not, but I just plugged my ethernet cord back in. The cool thing is, look at that, now I can move around. As you can see, it took me a couple tries of like clicking and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate all of these, let's say. Bam, so now I should be able to come in here and I should have 999,994 of those grenades. Although, I might have done it bad by having... Oh, never mind, I was going to say I might have done it bad if I, because I already had some in here. But look at that, 999,994 Jesus super zombie grenades. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but I am so excited that this does actually work. I just confirmed it. All you need to do is you have to keep on trying. It took me a while. Um, it took me probably... 15 or 20 tries um, before I actually got it to work properly and my part of that is because my ethernet cord is dumb and it has this weird thing and either way no need to, for you to worry about that stuff all I can say is that it is confirmed it does work I'll try and make this video shorter because I had recorded all the previous stuff but either way hopefully this helps or I know this will help some of you in getting disaster relief because I didn't scroll down and do disaster relief but I'm gonna do that next and just remember if it wasn't evening when you watch this it's always evening where I am oh there we go did it again just gonna I might actually include this one as well at the very end of the video just to show you that I was able to accomplish it again and hopefully give you, you know, more of an indication that not only is it still working, but now I was able to do it with like underwater algae, which can stack in 999,999, whereas the modern throwing axes couldn't. And now I'm back up to 999,999 disaster relief. So there you go, a little bit extra bonus thing at the end. Uh, continue to confirm that this does work. It does require some luck, I will say, because you're going 
in between one action and another action that the game is trying to commit. One action is to, t to bring up the error message, the other one is to put away the dialog box for storage. So it, keep on trying, you'll eventually get it. This one also took me about 15 to 20 tries, if not more. So uh, yeah, there you go. As a bonus bonus section, if you guys are going to be asking, hey, can I have a stack of 909, 1999 things? Well, here's a way that you can actually do that. Um, let's say you've only got 268 things here, right? Um, and I'm using it to duplicate into my, sto into my storage uh, or whatnot. Um, the way that you can actually do this and basically kind of exponentially do this, if you want to do it by yourself and do it the way that I'm doing it in this video, you can move everything over here except for one. So I'll just scroll all the way over and leave one inside of my uh, item upgrades, right? Boom, there we go, or the, sorry, the, the crafting parts. Once I only have one left in here, I'm then able to do exactly what I was doing before, click on something else that has a large number, duplicate this again. It'll again take some time, but eventually by stacking, particularly crafting parts, because they do stack till 999,999. So that's how you're able to get a stack that high, is just by continuously duplicating these. You can also do that with the exponential duplication that I had showed in a previous video that I might have an annotation for, maybe not, because uh, it is readily available inside of, my, uh, inside of my video list. Just look for exponential item disaster relief weapon duplication and you'll find it. So there you go.